<clears throat> okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Project 59. <coughs> Last one for this week. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the problems, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Consecutive numbers are two counting numbers that differ, differ by one. <laughs> I guess I was a little tired when I wrote this out this morning. Examples are 12 and 13 and 103 and 104. Give me a couple other examples of two consecutive numbers. Well, 100 and 101. 100 and 101, that's good. How about one more? 999 and 1000. 999 and 1000, very good. Those are, those are consecutive numbers. Okay, so here's the problem we're going to do today. Find two consecutive numbers that add up to 125. Yeah. Okay, you understand? Yes. What do we, what do we need to find? The two consecutive numbers that add up to 125. Alright, great. Well, grab, grab a marker and... See what you think. Let's get this thing started. We'll grab the light green. Okay. Alright. So how do you want to approach this problem? You need to find two consecutive numbers that add up to 125. Okay. So, well, one and two aren't going to do it. No, one and two don't quite get there. They, 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 they don't even get the, they don't even get the, the 50. So yeah. That, that won't work. So, 50 and 51 only add up to 101, but that's closer. Yeah, that is closer, but what are, what are you doing to find this? We got you gotta keep getting higher with the numbers. Okay, you, but you're, you're just guessing. Yeah. Okay, is there a better way to do it? Well, there's probably a better way to do it besides guessing. Yeah, there probably is a better way to do it besides guessing. If you guess, you'll eventually get there, but can we? Can you think of a better way? How do we usually solve problems like this? We, we look for patterns, but there's probably not going to be any patterns if we're only looking for two numbers. Okay, what's another way we usually solve them? We call we call the two numbers something. All right. What do you want to call them? We call them x and y. All right. What do you know about x and y? X and y differ by one. Okay. Well, you need need to write something down here, sweetie. Yeah. So. What are you gonna write there? X. We're gonna have x and y. Okay. And the thing is, x. Well, x minus y equals 1. Okay. So what does that mean? About, okay, so x minus y equals 1. Okay. That means they differ by 1. Alright. And what else do you know about x and y? And x plus y equals 125. Please write your fives properly. Oh, That's God. one of the things we're working on. I love writing my fives that way. It's yeah. quicker. Yes, it's quicker, but you can't read it. Okay, we're working on writing your fives properly. Okay, so we have we have two equations. X minus Y equals 1 and X plus Y equals 125. Okay, that's good. What do you want to do with those two equations? We can add them together. Alright, what do you get when you add those two equations together? So we get 2X well, 2x plus or minus is the problem. I think it's 2x minus 2y. Two, two hmm. Well, we have a minus y and we have a plus y. So. What do you get when you add a minus y and a plus y? You, you get a minus. I think so, anyway. Well, what do you think? What do you get when you add minus 10 plus 10? You just get zero. What do you get when you add minus 100 plus 100? Zero. What do you get when you add minus y plus y? Zero. Zero. So 2x, what if you just say 2x equals right. one, one, 126? 2x equals 126. Okay. Looking for 125, not 126. Okay. So. 2x equals 126. So now x equals 126 divided by 2. What's that? 
63. Okay, so we found out that x equals 63. Well, x is this number. Okay, so x equals 63. And that means... Hold on y. a second. I'll, I'll just, I'll write this. I know that's a little high up for you. Let's see, 63. So now... How are we going to figure out what y is? 63 plus 1. This is the differ by 1, well, 64. So y is 64. How, how did you figure that out? What are your two equations say? Two equations say x minus y equals 1. So this is minus 64. Minus, it equals minus 1. Okay, so y is not 64. It, it's, got, it's 62 then. It's 62. Okay. 125. Right, see the other thing you could have, if you did 63, if you thought it was 64, you always need, you want to check at the end. What does 63 plus 64 equal? Minus you. No, what does 63 plus well, 64? We're trying to find two consecutive numbers that add up to 127. So 63 and 64 adds up to 127. Well, well, let's see if this is true. So 63 minus 62 equals 1. Yeah. And 63 plus 62 equals 125. Okay. All right, very good. Now, since, since this went quick, I want to show you one other quick way you could have done it. Just one other quick way. You could have said consecutive numbers are going to be x, and what's, what's the number that comes after x if they're consecutive? y. Not, not y. What the number? Yeah. x plus, x plus 1. x plus 1. Okay, you could have said that the consecutive numbers, instead of being x and y, which, which by the way, you did right. Yeah. You, but you could have said it was x and x plus 1. Yeah. So then you would have said, when I add them together, I get 2x plus 1 equals 125. So what does 2x equal? 126. 2x equals what? 100, 100, 100, 2x. Equals, well, it doesn't equal 125. No, 2x plus 1 equals 125. So what does... 2x equals 124. 2x equals 124. So x equals... x equals... So x would equal 124 divided by 2. Yeah, what's that? 62. x equals 62. So the consecutive numbers are 62 and 63. Oops. And 63. And we just double do a quick check. What is 62 plus 63 equal? 125. 125. So don't forget about the homework problems. Yeah, you're right. The homework problem is Olympiad 66, problem number one. Olympiad 66, problem number one. Okay, great. Great job this morning, sweetie. Good job. On to the next thing.